You're listening to Whiskey Ramble for the Always Next Year Podcast Studio Network. You can find the team on Twitter at ANY Podcast or visit us on our website, www.alwaysnextyearpodcast.com. And now, drink with us while we listen to the Jack Dolls. That son of a bitch again. He cracked open a rib or two. He beat me so they threw and through. And so jig over my unconscious frame. I won me healthy sheriff fights. Well, lucky son, still have me life since Mickey Flynn beat me dumb and lame. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Whiskey Ramble. I'm your host, Steve, here with Shane. Shane, how are you now? Fine, and you? Not so bad. I got a glass poured. I'm all set. All right, we are in pouring uh, roughly, we'll go roughly two skinny fingers. Talk to you of whiskey. No, I can't be mine. I'm all fat now. That's true. <laughs> Slightly chubby. I've been fat fingering all day at work. The <laughs> fucking keyboard. It's terrible. Um, yeah. So what we got today? Uh, betting. It was a good week for you. It was a good week for me. <laughs> yeah. Let's so, start with yours. <laughs> start with mine. Well, I only did that three team parlay. I was gonna do like four or five, but I stuck with just three. Oh well, yeah. You I won. stuck with just the one o'clocks, and I was planned on doing four o'clocks, but I got too drunk and locked myself out of Sugar House. That <laughs> <laughs> so that was slightly embarrassing. But uh, yep, Chiefs, Ravens, and Eagles. Great bet. One hundred fifty, one two fifty, so three sixty. I'm up. There you go. I did not have the same luck, <laughs> uh, so I. I Bet the Browns at the spread. That was a poor decision, apparently. <laughs> Baker's not a real quarterback. Odell <laughs> wears $350,000 watches just for fun. Uh, <laughs> everything about that I just should have known. Uh, then my three-team parlay uh, did not work out, although I can't remember which team blew it for me. Now that I'm sitting here. Where did you do it? Did you do it on the app? You did it on FanDuel, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I did it on FanDuel. All right, well, you pick it up. Um, you, you, you Google it. You Google your FanDuel. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> And uh, so, yeah, me, it was very exciting at the bar. Everybody was like, wait, he's rooting for the Eagles. What, what is going on? <laughs> and I'm like, I got money on them. It's going to happen more often now. <laughs> there you go. So I was friends with everyone. And while just <laughs> also just loud and obnoxious because I drank a lot. It's football Sunday. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure I got locked out of Sugar House because, like, you, you'd start typing in your user your username and then you pre-fill because, you know, your keyboard's like, okay, yeah, it's this one. It added a space. So I'm pretty sure that's what got me locked down. I wasn't realizing it. I didn't get unlocked till Tuesday. Thank you, Donnie Chat Support, for trying to throw me off. I'm like, yeah, it looks like it's a town, maybe where you were born or you met your spouse. And I'm like, I know exactly what it was. This is what it is. Here's the answer. And they're like, that is correct. Oh, fuck. I remember now. <laughs> Keep going. Okay. So I finally get in. I look at it and see my winnings. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm looking at the other games I want to bet. Good thing I didn't, because I would probably put money on the Browns as well. Probably would have put money on... Oh, man, it was another... Uh, the Lions. I would have said the Lions to win over the Cardinals, but they fucking tied. Yeah, that's absurd. So, glad I didn't. Thank you, drunk me, locking myself out, save me some money. There you go. What was yours? The freaking Oakland Raiders screwed up my Monday night parlay. My two-team <laughs> parlay. Uh, that, was, that was the problem. So... I thought God was on my side when I when I saw that Houston Texans game. When because first of all, I, Deshaun Watson's my fantasy quarterback. He went off, yeah. and one he I, went off the field quite a few times because he was hurt. Often, very often, <laughs> horrified me. Thought, good lord, he's lost his back. My fan, which honestly, I wouldn't have to play fantasy football next year because I would no longer be the champ. So <laughs> if it happens, it happens. Um, loser gets relegated. So. <laughs> If you don't defend your title or make it to the playoffs, you're out. You're out, and that's that's all I'm counting on. Um, but uh, but again, I thought God was on my side because Deshaun Watson puts up that second half that he does. Uh, you know, they, they, well, that was that went to overtime too, right? I'm not blanking on no, that. No, no, it was no, the last last, last second field last goal. second field goal. And then I saw the 58 yarder go in, and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, because I took the Saints um, uh, in the the early part of that. Night part, and I'm sitting there thinking, well, Oakland's a dog shit team. They they don't have A B. Gruden's a fake coach in the year 2019. This is uh, this is easy. Uh, in freaking wrecked, <laughs> unbelievable. Denver, you owe me money. I was yeah. so pissed off. I thought for sure it was like a guarantee. 
Yeah, no, no. Once I saw like the first like three drives, I'm like, wow. There I also got on gonna... cam last night, and that was fucking dumb. Yeah, I stayed away from. It. I was thinking about doing it. I was never going. It. I swore to myself before the season started, I would not bet on Thursday night football. Well, <laughs> that lasted one goddamn week. I did not bet last week. Did bet this week. We'll never do it again. <laughs> you will. Might. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jaguars. Jaguars Titans sure. next week. I think, you know, you got to bet on Gardner Minshew. Not betting on Gardner. <laughs> Sorry. Not Four happening. in a row. We can mention Gardner Minshew. It's true. I think we should just make it a, a every single week where in the world is Gardner. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Rico looking motherfucker. He is a strange cat, man. He's yeah. going to be so fun. Yep. I will enjoy watching that six round pick. Six round picks don't do well in the NFL. Never. It's Dar- never happened before. Especially when one is named Gardner and one is named Darwin. Darwin. Darwin Thompson and Gardner Minshew. <laughs> All right. So, back to the betting. For this week, I am going the Cardinals. No, I'm going Ravens, Bills. I already locked myself out. Hold on. Keep going. <laughs> I don't know that struggle. Um, yeah, I'm going with the, for the one o'clock parlay I'm doing, Ravens, Bills, and Chargers. Hmm. And probably Patriots. So I'm going a four for. Going for a four for. Four for. Yeah. I said Ravens, Bills. You said the Chargers? Yeah. Who was your fourth team? Patriots. Way to pick four teams that you know for goddamn sure. I gotta win money, man. You gotta build this shit up. I'm almost at, like, approaching my reg D shit of, like, six withdrawals from my savings account. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at four. It's only the 13th of the month. <laughs> Oh it's not good. God. I could deposit some money, but I'm trying to keep it rolling. That's fair. But also, I need to get to Parks to finally cash in my months ago Aaron Nola wins ticket. That's $150 just on a slip right now. I'm pretty sure you can just download their app, and I think you can scan in. I had so much trouble with Parks. I'm not dealing with them. I had some trouble with Sugar House, but I'm finally through, so they're my go-to. Don't get now. high whilst logging into an app. I wasn't high. I was just drunk. All right. Whatever. And... Maybe I did get high, and that's what got me out of the problem. All right. Well, then get high in the first place, if that's what's going to work for you. I'd rather not. It's a a once-in-a-while thing. (laughs) Uh, So, 4 o'clock games. Chiefs and Bears. I might tease it. might tease like an over-under kind of thing, which I wanted to do Monday night, but I didn't because I was locked out. (laughs) (laughs) And I almost did something on uh, Bucks Panthers last night. I was probably going to do like the under. And I should have, but I didn't. My coworker was pissed because he did the under and the Panthers win. And then the whole apparently like last minute, last drive like fuckery happened or something with Cam Newton just not being able to progress a ball. Cam Newton's garbage. Yeah, he's broken. First of all, did you see his interview after that game, by the no, way? No. That was hilarious. I watched the first quarter. And I was like, I can't do this anymore. It's like 945. I'm tired. <laughs> it wasn't an entertaining first half, like, at all. And it was sloppy. Yeah. I, I ended up... The 27-minute delay, I'm like, I can't do this. It's weird that they delay football, right? Yeah, I mean, I understand. It's um, uncomfortable. I understand, like, you know, lightning storms and all that shit. But still. <laughs> but what's so metal there? What? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Not a damn thing. Uh, but no, in that, in that presser after the game, he came out there looking like, uh, I don't know, a, a widow at a funeral. Like, oh, was he wearing that little like, fucking yeah, that, uh, old lady oh, shit? He looked absurd. I, I did see a picture. And he said, well, I think it's about time that, you know, I, I, I go home and take a look in the mirror. And I'm like, you, you sure? You want to look at yourself? So it's him looking in the mirror. He still got it on. He puts on some lipstick and then just smears it. He and he's like, I can't do this. I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> I got to be a man again. <laughs> It'll be manly cam. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Not happening. So yeah, um, I feel like I'm gonna put stupid money Monday night, depending um, how much I win. I'm gonna not. <laughs> I just think this is the Browns comeback game. Well, the only reason I'm not, is Sam Darnold's not playing. Um, he's got mono, but Trevor Simeon's like yeah, he's a bad. I love Trevor Simeon. Yeah, for I one, know. I don't but understand I, it. I know it's just a weird thing, like. <laughs> I wouldn't be upset if he ended up on the Eagles at any point in his career as the backup. Like, I think he'd be pretty okay with it. That's um, stupid. <laughs> I mean, not right now, because we have the best hair in all of football yeah, bashing sure, us sure, up. Sure. But uh, we're rushing through. We are in-pouring, uh, what, third and fourth fingers there? Uh, there. There's your vantage point now. Oh, it's kind of swirling. 
Third and fourth fingers. So Steve is on uh, Ice Cube 9 and 10 and fingers 3 and 4. It's 748 by the time we get on this. I get home. I'm sleeping for the night. There you go. Yeah. Perfect source of medicine. Yep. You got to work in the morning. <laughs> you got to work in the morning? Yeah. That's shitty. Um, so let's just fast forward to the betting because I think Rob will do, start doing something with betting as well. Who does? Rob. Is that who sets on always do something? No. Um, so was Rob? No, I just renamed it Suman's people. Scott, it was Scott. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So L.A. Scott, uh, who hosts our TJ's One of Us, by the way, just first time he hosted it was last night, so that dropped this morning. So if you haven't listened to it, shameless plug, please go listen to it. <laughs> um, but uh, he, so he's similar to you in terms of how much he enjoys <coughs> the betting aspect of everything. I can't so, lie. Like, I was paying attention to the Chiefs, like I normally do, but like side-eyeing, like every you like, have the two to. games, I'm like... Oh, yeah. The fuck you doing, Eagles? Oh, Ravens is set. All right, cool. Yeah. One down. <laughs> it's a hell of an emotional roller coaster when you begin to actually start doing this shit every single Sunday. Yeah. Like, do you remember our, our old maintenance guy, uh, Ray? Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. was fantastic. He was the <laughs> he is the absolute best person to talk betting football with. <laughs> He's brilliant. Um, and it's just, I know this makes sense to not one of our listeners, but if yeah. we ever wanted to have him on show, that would be a perfect person. Yes. I, I um, won't lie. I won't lie. It was, I got to the bar an hour and a half early and I'm like trying to like find prop bets. And I'm like, I want to bet Deshaun Jackson scores a long touchdown in the first quarter. I couldn't find it. I'm still getting new, getting used to this whole app thing. And I'm not yeah. even thinking my money's real. <laughs> Your money's <laughs> real. Relax. <laughs> Uh, I did place a one. I didn't realize you could make one dollar bets. I was just, I was just screwing around with the FanDuel app, just looking around. But I placed a one dollar bet on the first person to score a touchdown in the Seahawks game. I think it was, and whatever it was, it paid out like thirty two bucks. I was like, that's pretty, pretty solid. I'm just gonna make like fourteen one dollar bets a day and just see what happens. You know what? Just place five dollars bet on every single game parlay. There you go. (laughs) See what happens. Just see. That's it. Um, I'll test this theory out in the season. <laughs> we will at some point, but we're probably going to have to build our, our earnings up a little bit here that we can risk. It's just $5. Week. So we're just doing $5. Imagine the payout. I'll, I will do it right now. Go ahead. You do the payout. So I will sit here and talk about the potential <laughs> show that we're not sure if we're going to start doing it this week or next or when. Uh, but eventually, L.A. Scott from, uh, from TJ is one of us. Me and Steve are going to put together like a quick either Twitter live or Instagram live or maybe just YouTube or whatever. Um, and it is going to be we're each going to take two or three like guarantee bets that we believe in that week. Uh, and then we'll take a few, you know, if, you, if you're a little bit riskier, uh, what may pay out the nicest and something that we ourselves may put money on. So uh, we'll try to make it like a 10 to 15 minute show each week and we'll we'll see what the hell happens. The Colts so are underdogs this week. That's crazy. What's up? Colts are underdogs. Who do they have this week? They have the Titans. Oh, well, that's because everyone Ooh, believes like, in the Titans after the Browns. Like Exit the fuck out. There we go. All right. Sorry. I am struggling already. Um, You're struggling already? I'm like six games in. Uh, Texans. Um, all right. Uh, I bet on the Khabib fight. I bet $25 on Khabib. And that was the thing Scott judged you for. Yes. He said it wasn't a bad bet. It was just a stupid win. I, I chose Khabib to win by KO, TKO, or disqualification. Yeah. Not understanding that Khabib is a submission master, because I don't really know shit about UFC. <laughs> and uh, so I click KO, TKO. It was plus 400, 25 bucks. The payout's pretty nice. So every time he's cut uh, Poirier down, I was like, don't tap, don't tap, just just pass <laughs> out, just pass out. Uh, win me money. <laughs> he tapped. And then I was looking back, I'm like, oh shit, it's plus 180 for submission. I should just put more money on it. But, of course, I didn't because I'm stupid. But it was worth a try. Made it more entertaining. See, newly involved into the degenerate world of sports. <laughs> he is, so Steve put $333 down on <laughs> uh, on a NASCAR race next week. No, I didn't. One, two, three, four, NASCAR, five, six, seven. Golf. I've got seven teams right now, and it's plus 2474. So just imagine what I do when I reach the whole end of it. Patriots, let's go. What else? They're minus twenty five hundred. <laughs> so what else? What are you thinking for this week for betting wise? Oh. I just need you to keep going while I finish this up. Right, I I'm going to bring beforehand. this up. All right. So let me go through my Monday or my one o'clock parlays that uh, that I am rolling with. The Seahawks are an underdog. Sorry, I'm going to keep interjecting. You as can I keep go through interjecting. It's totally cool. <laughs> totally, totally cool. Uh, I'm taking uh, the Bills, Cowboys, and uh, I'm taking the Texans. Uh, is my three team one o'clock parlay. 
Um, that is completely contingent on, I hope to God, that Deshaun Watson's back stays together for one more week. Because Gardner Minshew is <laughs> Gardner Minshew. very, very capable to, to come in there and really screw up my three-team parlay right there. Uh, I'm going two teams at the 4 o'clock hour. Um, A maximum of 12 outcomes are allowed on the bet slip. Uh, is that it? Yeah, so I got all the way down. So I got <laughs> Ravens over Cardinals, Bills over Giants, Cowboys over Redskins, Colts over Titans, Texans over Jaguars. Sorry, Gardner. <laughs> uh, Chargers over Lions, Packers over Vikings, Patriots over Dolphins, Seahawks over Steelers, Niners over Bengals, Chiefs over Raiders, and Bears over Broncos. What's the plus? Plus thirty-one five one two, five dollars to win fifteen hundred seventy-five. I guess you're oh, betting. shit. I might do this right now. <laughs> you probably should. <laughs> you Holy <got> shit! <laughs> Twelve games on that card. Twelve games. That's absurd. All right, I gotta take a screenshot and send it to my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually fucking absurd, and I'm going to do this every week now. It's only five dollars. There you go. $5. This is how it starts, everyone. I just lose five dollars here. Five dollars every my single week. When I put like the actual big one on. There you go. Oh my Lanta! All right. Honestly, I don't fault you at all when seeing that payout. That's oh my god, it was absurd. insane. Because like I think like three of the teams were like underdogs for some reason. I don't know. Colts shouldn't be underdogs. The Oh, shit, who was it? The Seahawks, I think, were underdogs? You said the Seahawks were underdogs, yeah. Yeah, and there was someone else that was absurd, but I can't remember right now. I'm trying to send a text. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is going to be deadly. Oh, the Seahawks are under... Yeah, well, they're playing the fucking Saints. The Seahawks are playing the Steelers. What are you talking about? Seahawks-Steelers. It's Saints-Rams. It's Saints-Rams. <laughs> The dead Seahawks air. Steelers. Yeah. As Seahawks. I'm going yeah, through. Yeah, Saints yeah, yeah. Just admit you're wrong. You yeah, go. it's okay to admit when you're wrong. 100% wrong. Okay, That's finally. Serious. Finally he admits <laughs> it. I'll drink to that. There you go. Down a sip. All right. So, staying on with the betting, I can finally go to Parks to cash this in. Yes. Segwaying into DMV talk. I finally got a new ID. After four months of expiration and two months of my camera card expiring and learning that it actually does expire when I went to parks and was not allowed in, which is very embarrassing. So I go to the DMV to update my ID. I literally went all out, brought my birth certificate, brought my brought my check, everything. I was like fully prepared because I've gone there before, waited an hour, and I was like rejected, like trying to get my permit because I'm dumbass that didn't have a physical. Brilliant. Yeah, but also they needed a birth certificate I'm like then i got my id right fucking here like clearly i've been here before it didn't make sense to me it did not make fucking sense to me so i go in there you know i click the thing you know id do you have your camera card how the fuck did you just see me clicking these buttons <laughs> sir like he's just sitting there like i guess like keep him watch and i'm like yeah he's like all right go right on and i'm like okay so i'm second in the queue waiting 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 five minutes go by i'm called up so I walk up to this guy who is fucking more dead inside than I am. Like, I can at least, like, show like, some personality working in customer service or I don't even know if you can call it DMV customer service. I, I've i never received service there. <laughs> I, I, last time I was there when I got rejected because I didn't have my birth certificate or, or a physical. I literally told the guy, well, I guess I'll just go kill myself. <laughs> and he was like, mm-hmm. See? Mm-hmm. What? I said, I'm already halfway gone. Well, that sounded like our old supervisor at our old place right there. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sure. okay. Oh, yeah, we'll get right on that. The guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> big listener to the show, by the way. So big F you to that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who we're talking about. <laughs> I honestly don't. We'll talk about it after the show. We'll talk about it after the show. <laughs> I have an idea, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so, you know, I'm just there to get a new ID. So he asked my camera card. I hand it to him. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, turtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll Fuck do that. Guy's yeah, an idiot. Sure. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. He he wrote down in his chicken stretch, chicken stretch, chicken scratch, scratch. <laughs> All right. So I give him the camera card. He's like, "All right, and, and your current ID. Here you go. Okay. All right. All right. Just have a seat. All right. Stare right here. Okay. You can smile if you want to. Okay. Stone cold Steve face continues. What? What does it look like? What's the photo look like? Did you smile? No. <laughs> no? Usually I do like that half smirk, which I always just like. You got a head, head tilt going on? All right, he told me to straighten my head. They didn't tell me to straighten my head, so I'm also on my I'm hair looks terrible. on an angle. All right, let's see. A serial killer. A serial right, killer. man. Yeah. Ted Bundy? Yep. 
<laughs> Good for you. Yeah, you genuinely look like you're about to be on America's Most Wanted. <laughs> like you Before, may be like a global. My, uh, most I just I just tried my old one, but my old uh, one looked we like I was a drug dealer. Fifth and sixth finger in. No, no, that was just ice. That was just ice. Yeah, <laughs> mistaken. I'm sorry. I was taken aback by your serial killer tendencies. I know the '70s haircut with the glasses. I know the <laughs> the chub. Now facial chub, by the way, not cock chub. That'd be impressive if you could fit that in a photo right now. Yes, yeah, I've gotten fat. So. <laughs> chubby yeah well i mean that's impressive man honestly zach efron would play you too (laughs) yeah he just has to you know jonah hill his weight up (laughs) (laughs) jonah hill just fucking loses weight gains weight loses Loses weight weight for whatever fucking role is going to pay him the most yeah he's impressive man yeah i like jonah hill quality actor so after four fucking tries of taking the picture because like my head's not in the right direction or some shit i don't know Steve is special needs, by the way. No, just like, okay, he's just like pointing like, right here. You're going to stare here. I'm like, like underneath the thing? Like at your hand? Like where? Like where the fuck do you want me to do? Okay, like, okay, is that it? Oh, nah, nah. Do it again. Okay. All right, we're going. What if you're just part of his scrapbook and he's actually a serial killer? He's, he's fucking like printing them out as he's he taking them. <laughs> um, so I do it and he's like, all right, now you have to sign here. This will be on your ID. Okay, I'm fully aware of that. Like what else would the fuck be on? So, I sign. Okay. It's going to print out in just a minute. You should have wrote, Steve motherfucking Schmidt. (laughs) No. (laughs) No, no, no. I just do my print S and then scribble. And then just cross the T all the way across it. And then print S. There you go. Scribble. Cross the T for the T in Schmidt. And then just, that's it. It's 100% a famous person's signature already. So, obviously, Whiskey Ramble is about to be picked up by, I don't know, someone significantly bigger than us here at AMYP. Please do. I hate my job. That's correct. So, after that, I'm just standing there. He said, yeah, it'll be printed out in just a minute. I'm standing there. Like, do I sit? Do I stand? He just said a minute. I can stand for like 60 seconds. Like, sure. Okay. This is when the awkwardness hit. Yuri! Yuri! Who the fuck's Yuri? Yuri gets up. (laughs) Gets his ID. Signs for him. I'm like, should I be sitting down? Like, I, I didn't say it. I was like, Okay, like I'm looking back and like back and forth at the guy, and he's just like, like that's it. And I'm like, guess I'll just fucking kill just myself right here. Like, okay, and then no. the second your cheeks hit, he called me. <laughs> that's what I was afraid of. So I'm like, I'm just standing, and then like yeah. he's he's continuing going on, calls up another person. I'm like, I, I, I'm just gonna sit down here in like the same picture area. <laughs> so I'm sitting down. Twenty five seconds go by approximately, and I hear it printing. I'm like, this is, I hope this is gonna be me because it's not even been thirty seconds. It was. He was like, all right, here you go. I just needed to sign. Okay, sign. There you go. Here's your old one. What do I need this for? But thanks. Right? They give it back with a hole punch in it. Yeah. It's so strange. Yeah. I don't know. So I went out and about my way. And then exiting it, I took the most awkward fucking way out. Like, I'm weaving through chairs and, like, people are going to sit How down. How are you, ACL is Steve, weaving your way through chairs? I mean, I'm walking, but, like, you know, you're just walking, like, you know, in those directions. All right, then. I don't know. I'm not running. Well, all right. I'm not swiftly turning my knee. <laughs> I still don't do that. Yeah? I dove today at baseball workouts. Ooh, how did you do that? I, I Well, I mean, I tripped, but I'm calling it a dive. <laughs> I'm only calling it a dive because I didn't get hurt in doing so. That's good. So all year at baseball, just a quick side tangent to your DMV thing, I had to rely on my, my base-stealing speed. To, to get me everywhere because I couldn't take a, a far enough lead because I was too afraid to dive head first back because my knee's so jacked up. Head first? It's going to hurt your knee? Head first. The implant. Uh, the implant. Um, <laughs> yeah, the new knee. Landing. <laughs> yeah, it, it's hard. That bionic <laughs> name, man. It's very strange. <laughs> That's an 11-year-old uh, joke 11 right year there. 11-year-old <laughs> callback right there. Um, no, the impact uh, of hitting, hitting down directly on my kneecap because I have so much scar tissue and everything there. It's just... It's, like a nightmare. Oh my god, we're on the topic enough. of again of knees, and I just think Christian Yell is shattering his kneecap. It's so weird. How, does it, how do your ligaments stay intact if your kneecap is shattered? <laughs> walked it doesn't on. make it's, sense. None of it made sense. I don't get it. I'm I convinced this. I, like, I hate just the human a, body. I hate I hate being a human being. Just where are the aliens at? Just fix us and just you know inter species erotica. <laughs> <laughs> inter inter uh, no not interspecies. That's fucked up. 
interterrestrial erotica. Yeah, that's it. Terrestrial. There you go. Alien erotica. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the next thing that we do here at AMYP. Yeah, we'll get to my conspiracy theories about aliens. Yeah. One of these shows that'll happen. We really should have at least every week one <laughs> conspiracy that we want to talk about. Okay. Like going forward. That should be a bit that people can count on. Okay. I thought about it during 9 11, but that's kind of fucked up. I was going to say I the know how you guys, same fucking thing. I know how you guys feel about it, which is why literally you guys, like last year, were talking about it and you were all like, hold around, like, I, I'm going to go smoke a cigarette. It's smart because it's, all, it's hard to. Because all I could think about was Bush did 9 11. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> these are quality topics. <laughs> lost seven followers yeah immediately <laughs> people are like well turn this off can't believe they fucking think that off <laughs> yeah that was aggressive i almost turned my laptop off <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah so the dmv was a enlightening experience and i can't wait to do it again in like a month because i will eventually have to get my permit i just need to get a physical first and i can get my permit and then i can drive like a real human being and then get my shit and drive like an actual real human being at 27 years old god i should just kill myself at a certain <laughs> point, man, why don't you just become the guy that never drives? Maybe just move to a city so that you can walk and, I already and am, Uber and I've everywhere. I thought about it but at the same time. I don't know, man. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I do. know I'm going to die in a car accident. Like, I might as well just, like, legally do it. Sure. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. It is nice knowing that at any point, anywhere that I am, that I am 100% in control of whether or not I stay there. Like, I can just be like, well, I'm fucking out. And you're gone. That's a really nice luxury. Then you get in the car, and there's freaking traffic. And there's other humans on the road. <laughs> it's a nightmare. If you're in the passenger seat or in the back seat or whatever happens in Ubers, I'm not entirely certain. I'm an adult with my own vehicle. Steve. Are you judging me right now? I am judging listen, you. Listen, but I, I've made some like decent Uber people friends in the way where like they're like, Steve, you and my friend? Sure, sir. You. Thank you for getting me to work on time. There you go. Three times this week. Three times this week. <laughs> I'm shocked that you don't have a regular guy. I kind of, like, I do. I've had this guy that's taking me to the bank, he's taking me to the theater, and then he's like, oh, we get on the theater today? I'm like, no, nah, I don't work there anymore. It's like, oh, what happened? They cut my position. Oh, okay. So just the bank? Yeah. There you go. And I'm like, when was the last time I had you? Like, two months ago? How do you, fuck do you remember this? Obviously, you make an impression. Yeah. This is coffee is defective. I apologize. Really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> you want to pour some whiskey in it? No, I'm good because there's no, not enough coffee left to balance that out. <laughs> then you got the Keurig over there. It is, first of all, it, a whole Keurig's it's great. Thing. It's great because his fucking coffee mug is have a great day, and as he drinks it, the bottom is a middle finger. Yeah, it was a gift. It's fantastic. So it, it is a fantastic gift, but as like he's drinking it after I offer the whiskey, and then it's just the middle finger to me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was perfect timing. That's true. It was. And if you want to see what the mug looks like, just scroll through the pictures on my personal Twitter at Shane (laughs) underscore Mead. I have a picture of a large portion of my coffee cup collection. It's become a thing. I don't know, man. It's weird. Like, this is what people get me (laughs) because I I'm angry and I'm an adult and I drink coffee and like that. Okay, so twenty percent of the population. That's correct. So like (laughs) in the the seven sixties, seventies, eighties, even like the nineties, like grown adult men just got <laughs> ties that they were never going to wear and i've been challenged hold on sorry to interrupt i've been challenged i have to place this bet now you had to play right, i have place to place it. it i've been challenged he said okay you ain't placing that i'm pe- i'm placing it now it's a five dollar bet it is a five dollar bet place bet money 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 so what's the payout 15k he said <laughs> it's five dollars to win one thousand five hundred eighty dollars and sixty two cents Screenshot that. Oh, no, that's turning my phone off. Yikes. Oh, oh, oh no, that's that shit I don't use. It's going to be a problem, I'm man. Stupid. So you're going to start calling the police on yourself, too. No, I don't. What the fuck was that story? I didn't listen. No, no, no. People listen to that. I'll listen to it. You don't need to listen to that story. <laughs> it's just me being an idiot. Good to know. Oh, shit. No, 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 not that one. I somehow Did took you just bet twice? No, I took the screenshot of my bet slip, and I took a screenshot of like my home screen after. Weird. I don't know. I, I I wake up and I have so many screenshots of like my shit, like not my shit shit, but like my my home screen. Yeah, I got and you. it's just awkward. awkward. No, I didn't fucking. T- oh my god! All right, I am struggling right now. All right, screenshot this. Cool. We're good. Really? We're good. Send. Okay. Back to the top of your hand. DMV. No. We're past the DMV. <laughs> past the DMV. Scroll to whatever one's All next. Right. My you friend. have you have a thousand coffee mugs. Is yeah. that, that that's what we were talking about, right? Yeah. It's what we were talking about. There's nothing really to say. It's just the evolution of the the go-to fake gift. 
for for grown adult males is just get someone. Is it really fake or is it actually like still like usable? Oh, of course they're usable, but it's like that. Th- it's like the new gift card. Like gift cards are like ah shit. I forgot to get this person a gift. <laughs> Let me stop at a CVS on the way to the event that I'm supposed to be at. Put it in a freaking ninety nine cent card <laughs> and give it to him. And be like, I've been thinking about you all day. <laughs> Here's a Dick Sporting Goods card, and you give it to someone who's like in a fucking wheelchair for life. You're like this is dumb as hell. <laughs> That's what a coffee mug is now. The coffee mug is just like so. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Here you go. You could use this. I think it's kind of funny too. Maybe yeah. To like, me, maybe not you, but I do have <laughs> some some solid solid coffee mugs. Like this one is a good one. It was a gift. I have a. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for all the orgasms mug. That's a quality gift. There you go. Who gave um, you that one? Shall I name names? I don't know. It's going to ruin your relationship. Queen of the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. um, so it won't. Only better it here to help. So that's <laughs> correct. Um, but uh, what else do I have there? Um, man. Well, they were fun. I should probably look at my own Twitter, but I've got a coffee bunch. mugs. All right, so for you, coffee mugs. For me, shot glasses. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> Same thing. So, I, like, I have about make six Tullamore Dew shot glasses, purely because I see Tullamore Dew on sale and I see that little like top part of it, and I'm like, that's a shot glass. I'm buying it today. Are you so, serious? Yes. Wait. So you buy yourself these? Yeah, but no charge. No extra charge. So you get yourself these? You've never bought a gift for yourself every week for the rest of your life. Oh God, I'm so lonely. Oh, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. <laughs> no, I have people to buy coffee mugs for me, Steve. <laughs> oh, must be nice. I don't remember the last time I received a gift. <laughs> no, not really. No, I think I have. You know. No, oh, well, I'm trying to think if I've ever got you anything. Me? I mean, you helped me out with a lot of that. You know, your friendship is a gift. Oh, that's really fucking you just, lame. You, I know, but you've helped me out with a lot of shit, though. Well, so in that return sense, yeah. the favor. FanDuel is locked into my account. That's the other thing that's annoying about FanDuel. Every time you log in, it says you have logged in. You yeah. have access to your account. Same thing with Sugar House. Yeah, it's absurd. Yep. It's like, look, if someone wants to steal my $100 that I have in there right now, or whatever it is. Okay. See, now I will appreciate it once this $5 parlay, $5, $5, $5 12-game 12 12 team, 12 team. parlay works out. <laughs> so. I totally misheard you, by the way. I thought you said it was fifteen grand when you were. Not no, 1500. no, it's 1500 dollars so that's why I was like, fuck it, do it. But I don't care. It's I'm absurd. It's now. absurd. It's absurd. All right. Um, should, I, should I plug it again? What was it? Ravens over Cardinals. Bills over Giants. Cowboys over Redskins. Colts over Titans. Texans over Jaguars. Chargers over Lions. Packers over Vikings. That's going to be one to fuck me. Patriots over Dolphins. Seahawks over Steelers. Niners over Bengals. Chiefs over Raiders. And Bears over Broncos. Also potential to fuck me. Yeah, the Bears are another team I just don't know that I can ever bet on. But here's the thing. They're all 1 o'clock games, and then like the first two 4 o'clock games. Oh, so watch pretty quick. Watch every 1 o'clock game hits. <laughs> I'm sweating fucking bullets. You could be sitting there with fucking eyes <laughs> all over the damn place. <laughs> oh, my God. What have I done? It's only $5. Okay. All right. That's all you got to keep I've saying regathered myself, regathered myself, and next topic... Shane and I went to the rookie game, the Flyers rookie game. We did. We did. And, you know, very good experience. Um, And I didn't realize where Shane got the tickets. And they were literally... Shane didn't realize where Shane got the tickets, to be fair. (laughs) To be fair. To be fair. Uh And there were three rows from center ice behind the penalty box. Which you would think is a good seat. You would. Mistaken. It, it, It was, like, luckily, like, we're on, like, the shoot twice side. Yes. So that was well, nice. you were, we were in the fucking middle. I know, but you could still like see like the shoot twice side. Yeah. You could see them shooting twice. That's what that means. Shoot twice side. It's where they shoot twice. That's correct. First and third. <laughs> they so, shoot twice. So so you look to the left to where the... Sh- the shoot they, once. They defend twice side. <laughs> defend twice. <laughs> <laughs> where they defend twice. Um, and you got those like five six panels of like plexi plexi and plexiglass and like you're seeing the same thing like four different times and it's like no it's not what i want to see did you get like nauseous a little my head bit. was fucking spinning and i, I wasn't did, even I, like you're drunk i'm not my fucking neck hurt because i was like all right i'm looking at it, i'm like no i gotta look at and the then screen, you look at the screen and i gotta look, look down, down. <laughs> and i'm like okay now it's coming back okay i look back down oh shit it's back there I gotta look up okay i gotta look over here because it just got cleared i didn't notice it and yep. so all stadiums should have, you know, 
the seating behind the penalty box should be nothing. Just leave your security there. Yeah, that's fair. Instead of just sitting in the same row as us, so I couldn't use my e-cigarette. Also upsetting. <laughs> so, like, just have that, you know, start the rows a little bit more, and then, like, a little bit back, you know, just leave that. Just start them eye level with the goddamn top of the glass. No, I understand, like, wanting to sit, like, against the boards. Yes, but so Stephanie and I sat last year uh, at a Phantoms game first row. First or second row, I can't remember, but it was the same situation, though we were behind the benches. That curled part of the glass, because we were underneath, um, we were not a, obviously not above the top of the glass level. We were just right in the center of the fucking glass. Trying to look beyond the bench, you could not see <coughs> anything. So you had to watch over half the game. Now, well, same thing. We were on the shoot twice side. Phantom shoot twice. That's what that means. Twice <laughs> on that side. Twice. Um, <laughs> 97X. <laughs> That's all I'm sitting there thinking of right now. Um, but, yeah, no, it's a fucking mess. So, like, there's a lot of really cool experiences being that close to, you know, some of the best athletes in the world but all oh, holy shit there's also <laughs> a fucking migraine that comes from it yeah it's not it's not great this was the second closest i've been um to like the boards like before i was like second row for a, a phantoms game at the uh, wells fargo center and that we was pretty close when we went and saw him lose like seven nothing except Haig put in a shot one second after the third period bell weren't we like five rows four rows five rows still further back than what I'm talking about, so I don't see your point. Were we? Were we like I was five two rows, rows away. I was two rows away from the boards. All right, continue. So you know, you're just, That's how math works. I lost it. I lost, <laughs> I lost it. it. I'm done. I'm done. I don't want to talk about the rookie game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> trying to say something, just ruining it. Like, I, I, how are we hosting the show together? I don't know. <laughs> um, Failures of coasting. No. Um, another fun, funny kind of thing, at least to me, I don't care if anybody else has a fun and funny, the, these people in front of us were either like definitely from New York and like you yep. know go Rangers, they're playing Islanders, and so you know you're just bad at trolling. Yeah, um, he was obnoxious. But they were Spanish and they're speaking Spanish to each other. <laughs> and the one guy like the far left, I assumed like he was like the boyfriend, like the significant other of the girl who was definitely related to this big ass fucking guy. How do you fit in that seat? I don't know. That's gonna follow this. All right, keep going. <laughs> so like this big ass dude is talking Spanish to the white guy and like for the first three period in the first two periods I didn't hear the white guys like respond at all so I'm just assuming whole game he ended up doing it he ended up responding but like he's just speaking Spanish to him and I'm assuming like because this guy's like yeah yeah and I'm thinking like he doesn't understand the fucking word he's saying (laughs) and like that's why he's doing this like the big ass dude's just fucking with him halfway through the third period white guy responds in Spanish I'm like that makes so much sense I here, I thought he was just fucking with them. So it would have been so much funnier had he been. Yeah, because <laughs> that was that had to have been like more ten, than mildly frustrating for you. <laughs> like ten minutes into the third period, and he's like, "I don't know what the fuck you've been saying to me." <laughs> that would have been hilarious. It would have because that that was my head for the for the first two periods. <laughs> <laughs> but onto the big ass dude, he was so fucking fat. I don't understand how you could sit comfortably in that seat. So I I have a buddy, and his kid is one of the funnier humans I've ever met, right? <laughs> and this kid goes, I'm not a racist. He's like, I don't, I don't care what's Hand between your... We're all a little bit racist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what's between your legs, nothing like that. Like, any of that shit, he because doesn't that's care sexist. about. That's what I'm saying. That, like, he's not racist, he's not think, sexist, okay. Not racist, not sexist, not any of that stuff. But the one thing that he is is a fattest. If you are that fucking fat, <laughs> he hates you. And I'm like, I think that's fair. It's I totally think that's one hundred percent fair. Yeah, because you did that shit. How the fuck? Like you could be big, but you can't be that big. I look at my fucking ID picture. I look at myself in the mirror. I'm like, how the fuck did this happen? Uh, then I think about like, oh, that's how it happened. But you're still not that. Yeah. You're still not that guy. You still don't need to sit there and question whether or not you got to buy two seats to every goddamn event that you go to, one for each cheek. This guy needed three. He was absurd. Yeah, I made too much eye contact right from the start. <laughs> so right when he was waddling his big ass down there, I was like, how the fuck is he gonna fit? <laughs> How's it gonna yeah. fit? Like I'm struggling right yeah, now. Right? I'm, like I'm pretty sure my right cheek is a little bit off this chair. What's going on? And for the record, I'm not that fat of a human. I'm certainly not thin, but I'm not <laughs> that fat of a human. So I'm concerned for me. This guy's walking down there. I'm sitting here thinking, holy shit, he's gonna tank the whole section. <laughs> it's just gonna tip. We're gonna be below ice level before I fucking know it. This guy was so fat. <laughs> now and he sits there and starts yelling Rangers yeah. at a fucking <laughs> Islanders Flyers game. This guy was such an ass. Yeah, 
but he's definitely been there before. And I assume like he's lives in the area. Probably lives in Allentown. And you know, he's probably like you know follows like you know when their minor league team is there and he gives all of his. No, teams. he doesn't. Probably he didn't scared. know what hockey was. That's true. He just kept hitting the glass like a fucking child. Yeah. It's just like you got to score a goal tonight. Whoa, man! That's all he kept saying. I was like, <laughs> and, this guy is fucking nuts. And he was doing like the Instagram live shit, like yeah. Yeah, wasn't he was really. Like, yeah, he was, and I'm like, I don't want to be a part of this shit. Fucking, I'm suing. <laughs> <laughs> Did not acquire my rights. I'm not a part of this. I have a podcast. Okay, God damn it. That's correct. <laughs> Very important people here. It's, you need to pay for our rights. Yes. Three beers, please. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the price of one beer is enough. There you go. That's <laughs> it. Eh, actually, like, not bad at the High Valley. No, everything's pretty good there. It's like nine dollars, like three seventy five for a water. You anticipate spending like five. They are smaller, but still doesn't matter. Still better. Two dollars for Mike and Ike's, which I can't believe ate the whole thing. I can't believe you got Mike and Ike's, which is hilarious. It was right there, man. I wanted a three year old. It was that or peanuts, man. Peanuts is the option. You're an adult. I don't want to make a mess. I feel bad. I was an usher before. That's fair. (laughs) So yeah, if I had an empty cup, which I thought about leaving there, but again, I'm a decent human being sometimes, and I took my trash out. Yeah. Also, the security guard was right next to me. It kind of freaked me out the whole time. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Steve was incredibly high throughout that entire game. Just slightly. Buzzed. Slightly inebriated. Slightly buzzed. Slightly buzzed. Now that actually is a pretty strong word for it. I was slightly buzzed. There you go. I reached buzzed at the end. Reached buzzed at the end. But not drunk enough to pee in front of your car in the parking garage. You did that last time. You didn't even drink that much. Yeah, I know, but that was like a more closed space. I will say, so, so you did that that one night off that one section, and... You were an idiot, and you were sitting there just watching TV in someone's home that is across from the parking structure. I was literally staring, and I'm pretty sure I saw like heads. I'm like, eh. right? <laughs> Here's the thing: the very next time I went with Stephanie, I was like, I'm so sorry that you have to see this right now, but I really have to piss, and like I cannot pee in the PBL center when you get stuck at the little urinal. It's not fun. So I did the same thing, except I made direct eye contact, and the only <laughs> way that that's okay is that you have to somehow make them laugh. <laughs> so like wide eyed it windmill it and just <laughs> <laughs> you windmill your piss <laughs> uh, uh, no 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 because we're like we're, we're dick level is below the rail level so like they just know what's happening oh, no, so you just fucking raise it so you're going over so I don't know how tall you think I am but oh arc the, yeah I got the you. arc the arc <laughs> fair alright I mistook that um, but no so instead I just like since they they make those eyes like walking towards their balcony like i know what the fuck you're doing right now take a pee <laughs> in public space meanwhile i just made them my crazy eyes and just look at them and just i do not blink and i just <laughs> keep going until then and then right as they get like right towards their, their sliding glass door to go out of that balcony <laughs> i just get that really really slow raising creepy smile and they start laughing and walk away and i'm like i won now i can piss like in comfort like uh, you instead, were peeing before dude it's weird i just stand there stage dick fright. out stage fright stage stand there fright. dick out dick in hand and you're just like dude come on man just work just work just work now i gotta find a way to make this human not watch me pee even though they can't see because dick levels below the rail level it's absurd absolutely absurd yeah yeah i couldn't do it but speaking of peeing at the PBL Center. The little urinal. Your little urinal. It was a terrible experience. <laughs> so, first of all, you are correct now. Uh, I've I've never, like, judged, judged you for it, but, like, I get it now. You right. always go to the stalls, like, or almost always go to the stall. Now, yeah. you do it for your e-cigarette purposes, and that is what it's it my is. my main like, purpose safe now. space is yeah. what you call <laughs> yeah. it. And that was what made me pee myself, <laughs> basically. So, but I had to piss. We just got to the PPL center. I was like, all right, this is, this is fine. Like there's like, there's like dividers. This is as safe as a urinal has ever been. I mistook where the little urinal was going to be. I went to the incorrect side. <laughs> I'm used to. It usually is the closest one. It's usually the closest one. Usually is. Not which there. is strange that it's closest to the door because you know that little urinals are for kids, which means a kid with their dick out is going to get snatched by some crazy dude. Like, that's weird, right? Never thought about it that way. It's but yes, super you're right. strange. You're right. Like, you're those right. kids, mm-hmm. half the kids don't know to pee with, like, their pants still up. Especially, yeah, yeah, yeah. With their fucking trousers right? down, like, fucking ass cheeks out. Like, that shit. Daddy, I'm doing it. Right? It's strange. <laughs> so I went to the furthest one from the entrance. Spoiler alert, in this particular scenario, it was the little urinal. Here's the thing. I don't like peeing in public spaces. So I don't even look. I just take it out, start peeing. Weirdest thing happened. Mm-hmm. Uh, splashback. Because I was peeing on top of the goddamn urinal and didn't realize it, which was horrifying. I felt like I needed to like sit there and wash my entire clothing choice. Yeah. I was like, this is horrifying. Good thing I had my Brillo pad. So, that's true. Yeah. 
another thing about the PPL Center, they have those ads, like, right there. And yes. me, usually, I'm just staring off, like, head cocked, like, just staring into nothing, occasionally checking down, like, make sure I'm not peeing on myself. Smart. And uh, so, I'm like, so I'm, like, doing that. And then I realize there's a block of an ad here. So, I'm, like, repositioning my head. And I'm, like, what does this ad say as I'm staring to the microphone? <laughs> So I'm like, oh, okay, you know, one eight 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 four four four. Okay, okay, maybe I do need some uh, some roofers. <laughs> some roofers. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it was now, but I'm like, okay. So I'm reading like, um, fucking fine print and all. And I'm like, okay, I know enough now. Shake, shake, shake. All right, I'm done. <laughs> Walk out. Hit my e-cigarette as I'm walking out. I'm like, oh, I have no idea what that ad said, but at least it <laughs> occupied me when I was urinating. <laughs> That's it. Just as opposed to distraction. Just, as opposed to dwelling into my own terrible mind it's true. while peeing. The tender Branson. <laughs> tender Kill Branson yourself. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? Kill yourself. There's nothing else There's to live nothing for. Else. Said, you know, just kill yourself. Just do it. <laughs> Spoke words to my heart. <laughs> it is, man. It's so Scott finally started reading it. That we were fantastic. talking about yes, we were talking about it last night uh, on TJ's one of us. And uh, and he's like, yeah, just to let you know, I did finally start reading it. He's like, man, I keep forgetting that the last book I read was really satirical as, as well and, like, dark. I'm going to have to read some Sunshine and Rainbow shit after this because I'm starting <laughs> to adapt the personality of the characters. And I'm like, good for you, man. You're going to fit right in on Whiskey Ramble. Yes, we hate yeah, everything. Yeah. Read Survivor by Chuck Palahniuk. Yep. It's like a new, like, plug that we're doing. I feel like this guy owes us at this point. Like, And by... <laughs> Associated, we also owe Josh because Josh is the one who got me into uh, that book, which is crazy. So before Josh had recommended Survivor, I had already read Fight Club, I'd already read Choke, and I read those two after, and I read Survivor probably twice before I read those two. So it's just so fucking good. Yeah, it is. Um, I read it in one sitting at work. It was a very slow day, and I was able to hide behind a teller line, but still, it's still fantastic. But uh, yeah, definitely read Chuck Palahniuk. So we're, f- uh, was this fifth and sixth finger now? I don't know. You're the one supposed to be keeping track of your notes. Shit. Oh, they're right here. <laughs> there you go. Fifth and sixth <laughs> finger of Telemardu, and we are at Ice Cube 13 and 14. Yeah, so it's been a little bit watered down. A little bit watered down. So staying on the rookie game, the traffic. Traffic. You were better. losing your goddamn mind. Can you fucking blame me? No, I can't. Exactly. <laughs> so I have had uh, the, the worst luck recently or for the last 17 years of driving um i've never been i don't think anyone had anywhere to go on the way to the game or the way home from the game if the speed limit is 50 (laughs) you can go 57 like without getting legally without getting a ticket go 50 fucking seven be a human act like you gotta go wherever you're going to (laughs) how first of all so while on traffic i had an interview a couple weeks ago and I ballparked a full hour, an hour and 20 minutes or so, beyond the drive time to get where I needed to go. I was going to grab breakfast, grab some <laughs> coffee, relax, unwind a little, and then go in there and kick the shit out of that interview. Oh, nope. <laughs> Traffic was like, you're not going to do that. I was 45 minutes fucking late. <laughs> so I was going to have to give one state away. It's absurd. I don't know. People have make no go state away to go. Yeah. Well, that was dumb, but it's absurd. You have, if, if you were on the road and you, and you don't have somewhere to go, get off the road. Driving is not fun anymore. Like monkey, monkey passed, passed out. out. <laughs> <laughs> we both just saw him hit the counter. <laughs> Damn shame. He can't hang. He can't hang. Oh my! He's God. Leaning on the water, I offered it to him, but that's all right. I've been there, man. Been there. He's got such a tiny little body. Do you think he's gonna die from this show? Nah. One day. One day? One day. Who dies first, monkey or you? Unfortunately, I'm going to say monkey. You think so? Yeah. Not, my, my body just refuses to cease. Monkey got Stephanie a birthday present. Oh, shit. He's yeah. such a good guy. Yeah. <laughs> he really is. So he, he got her a card, and uh, and then he, he got her a... So on the way to the home opener last year, the Flyers home opener, she we were 10 minutes away max from the Wells Fargo Center. And she was like, I'm not going to make it. I'm just not going to make it because she had to pee. She's got a teeny little bladder, apparently. <laughs> Everywhere that we go, she's got to pee. Yeah, and all for the Gatorade times. bottles. So that's the first thing I said. I was like, listen, <laughs> just fucking find something in the truck and piss on that. I don't really care. It's like we've been together long enough. This is horrifying, by the way. The fact that this the thing is, is you always have empty bottles in there, and then I just. Oh, monkey's dead, out, dead, out. Dead, dead. <laughs> <Yeah>. He's. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the headset right now looks like it's a noose or something. I can't figure this shit out. <laughs> all right, all right. You saw a lot. But He's, no, you always have water bottles or something, some empty bottle in your car. And I always have a like a coffee thermos. Um, you have coffee thermos. You also have like empty water bottles and shit. I don't know why. And I don't think I've ever had that. But maybe you I did do. the past like two times. I'm like, okay, yeah, don't worry, man. I'll I'll take this with my trash because I well, like thanks, to take man. my trash with me. Trash. My trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the reasons I mispronounce things on purpose leads to me being drunk and and mis- accidentally doing it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Monkey gets her car. Monkey, uh, he was pissed off that we had to stop and go into the worst neighborhood in Philadelphia I've ever been in in my entire goddamn <laughs> life. And like, she needed to get like checked in to go to the Target. They she like patted down. They were like, "All right, I think you're secure, white girl. You can go in here, but just go fast. <laughs> just make sure you have an AR-15." So, well, you never know, man. Uh, no, 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 no. That, that that's that's not true. She's a girl. She's a female. It would be a man. It is true. <laughs> Insensitive whiskey ramble moment. Um, but yeah, so she makes us go in there. True. It is true. Very accurate. <laughs> and uh, I got pissed off. Monkey got super pissed off. Monkey was like, we're going to miss fucking puck drop. Like, this ain't even right right now. I can't stand this girl. Why are you dating her? <laughs> so he said in efforts to avoid that, he got her a uh, a like a rubber funnel. To filter into a water bottle in case of emergency. Uh, so if that doesn't say I love you, I don't know what does. So Monkey's a hell of a gift giver over here yeah. for AMYP uh, yeah. and for Queen of the Podcast, Miss Steph over there. And while uh, he is trying to recuperate himself, he's drinking the water. And with his hand foot, his foot hand. His foot. <laughs> that's what Monkey's had. They have like feet hands, man. Their hands are feet and their feet are hands. <laughs> And they're fucking weird, man. It's true. We we grew from them. <laughs> we did. And Darwinism, evolution, all that shit. Survival of the fittest. That's right. And, uh, and Monkey yeah. is fit right now. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Oh, <laughs> my God. He looks like he's like ready to fucking mix some disc or something. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> oh, you my never, God. No, you haven't. But sometimes you get drunk. You're like, oh, I can be a DJ. I'm oh, sure. Listen, Listen to my playlist. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I've been to so many college parties, and I'm like, oh, yeah, okay. Nobody's had the... You know, the laptop. Recently, he's still sleeping with 17-year-olds. <laughs> no, that's fucked up, man. Never done that. When I was 17, I did. That makes sense. <laughs> that was 17. the only time. Um, so, like, you know, the laptop's open. It's playing all the music. So I go there, and I just put on Shaggy. It wasn't me. Every time. Just put on <laughs> Shaggy. In the corner. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't call me on camera. It wasn't me. But it, it's just so funny. Picture this single bone button. <laughs> It's just so funny. Because everyone's like, oh, fuck yeah, this song, fucking for my age, it was like, oh yeah, third grade, oh yeah. (laughs) We knew what we were listening to. (laughs) That's 100% correct. Shaggy got us. Shaggy got us. (laughs) And then, like, the immediate song average, always like, you're my angel, my only angel. (laughs) So, yeah, Shaggy, go to DJ song at a party. (laughs) Yes. Um, at took least one away from me. I, wow. I feel like we've given up on traffic. <laughs> wow, traffic's a dumb topic because we yeah, like yeah. Rob rants about that for enough for the both of us. Yeah, and, and Rob's got terrible tra- or terrible road rage. And you don't. I'm effective with mine. People understand. They pull over. It's a big scene. Uh, you, you like your your piss story of like that face that you're literally doing that but for real. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> no man. Look, if you drive aggressively enough and like. Just throw hands every once in a while, and they could see you. And like, that's the thing that really fucking pisses me off. If you're driving slow enough that you can confidently look in your rearview mirror or side rearview mirror, and just sit here and constantly look at me instead of the road in front of you, you are driving too fucking slow, and you're a total dick. I hate your existence. If you could be that pissed off and have to look at me, freak the hell out in my vehicle. You're driving too slow. Get off the goddamn road. That's it. Fair enough. Duly noted. On to the next topic. Um, suit or no suit? I think that's what it says. I can't read your fucking chicken trash. Yeah, it's not my uh, strongest <laughs> resume asset, if you will. But yeah, yeah, not good penmanship. No penmanship over <laughs> here because it's 2019 and you don't need to write anything. Yeah, you just type shit now. That's correct. That type is and correct. sign shit. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna Chris Farley for you right now and start stripping. That's a horrible sight. Uh, as it was for Chris Harley. Uh, Chris Farley just said Harley. Yeah, I was confused there. Yeah, sometimes you allow the mistakes to happen. You're just like, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, for it, it sinks in. And <laughs> we like to always remind people: as Steve begins pouring his third and fourth glass of whiskey, I suddenly somehow seem drunker. So I just <laughs> my, think by association, my mer- my 
my mispronunciation mispronunciation thank you you're welcome they become <laughs> less um purposeful <laughs> more accidental <laughs> <laughs> so suit or no suit yes so first of all so you don't drive so you're probably very rarely faced in this particular scenario but uh i'll ask anyway do you ever frequent the same establishment twice in one day not really frequent but i've done it like i've gone to the same bar twice in one day that's more so embarrassing but yeah that's something that's that that horrifying done, yeah. yeah i've gone to the same liquor stores twice in one day all right it's just literally just okay yeah i understand i'm an alcoholic takes another drink very on brand literally that's true um i guess we can call this tell them or do hour next time Anywho. i like whiskey ramble um so yeah yeah, yeah. so and sometimes I, james and sometimes tell them or do so sometimes straight it up it depends on who ramble. buys it that, that's, no, no 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 it depends on you know, i appreciate you for doing that i have an id now i can always buy it that's very true yeah steve so, is vage by the way i haven't been illegally <laughs> buying him shit so for all of our cop listeners you have here, never illegally bought me whiskey. i have not ever yeah illegally bought you yeah yeah i've i've done it myself it's just you know hey man my id is not valid and i got kicked out of the park so uh <laughs> can you please buy this for me it was the saddest story i've ever seen i just <laughs> felt so bad steve was in here crying monkey was totally a wreck this man he all he wanted to do was play some uh, some bets over there with steve <laughs> uh, it's it, he looks up to him man, like a father figure poor ass monkey couldn't get Regan, in to i'll parks. give you one percent of my five dollar parlay there you go man eyes perked there up there you go <laughs> it's like a what like a buck uh 57 what do we got there it's 1580 what's one percent 50 per, all right so you got 10 or 15 uh 15 dollars and 80 cents there kid hey that's a bottle there you go you're on your way one percent you didn't even have to do it hey man i remember when i was buying the seagrams for nine dollars <laughs> <laughs> bad time for steve <laughs> bad time for steve um, that shit gives you a hangover how bad you want to know well, i would not know. here's the thing i got so accustomed to it or it didn't but the first time i feel like that's every single drip of alcohol for you now no like mondays are the worst for me because sundays oh, I, I drink a tough day that and like i drink vodka when i'm at the at uh hazy's i've never seen you drink vodka yeah but there they got john daly's it's, Ar- it's basically uh, half and half and vodka gotcha. you know it's the arnold palmer and vodka so and yeah, it's and delicious, they know you. and it's three dollars, and I'm like the only one that knows that it's like a three dollar drink. And I'm like, yeah, give it to me. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what happens. What Every, topic are we on? We're on suit or no suit, and then you got on to have you ever frequented the same place in twice in one day? That's because it was part of the suits and no suits. Yes, I know. So I wear nice suits <laughs> everywhere I go, almost everywhere I go. Um, You're right there. Too much, too much coffee. Need too to much of something. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> But uh, so I had to, I had to stop it. I knew that I had to stop and get a few things at the grocery store, right? So the the one thing that I knew that I needed, I forgot. So now I had a. What did you need? What were your What was your list? Uh, I needed the the essentials, my friend. I needed eggs. I needed milk. Uh, I needed I needed more coffee, uh, and then I needed toilet paper. Okay. Uh, but obviously, there's one thing in there that you desperately need uh, if you are me and you. So I 100% left without the toilet paper. <laughs> and when I originally went to the Giant, so now where I live, there used to be two Giants equidistant apart from each other, right? So I could drive three minutes one way or three minutes the other way. It was great. So the every time I forgot something, didn't fucking matter. Went to a different Giant. Everything was fine. Nobody looks at you strange. <laughs> that one Giant closed down, so now I only have the one near me or the other one near me, right? So on the way home from a meeting earlier that day i stopped and picked up everything except for the fucking toilet and now monkey's making a fucking phone call what the hell's going on nope he did he's dead dead again and uh i walk in there in one of my nicer suits i walk around and they treat you a certain way every every time you go somewhere in nice clothes and look important people treat you a particular way it's as if everything they're doing for you is they're doing a favor because they want to because they need to they feel obligated to because they look at you and you're like that guy he fucks that's right. That guy. Must be nice. He fucks. <laughs> so I came home and started making uh, started making breakfast uh, or lunch or whatever the hell I was doing. I was just, but I got out the suit, right? No need to sit there and keep wearing it at home at this point now. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going out for the remainder of the day or at least not until later in the evening. Well, forgot toilet paper. I was like, shit, got to run back out. 
So I went out. Now I was I was going to go work out later this afternoon or later that afternoon. And I had to go back to the same giant, which is a damn mistake. Can't do that. I walked in there, not in my very expensive nice suit. <laughs> and I was in there in, like, gym clothes. And, man, they don't give a damn about you. They could not care less. They treat you like shit. Probably the way that they treat Monkey everywhere he goes because he didn't wear pants. He's also dead now. He's, like, fall out, passed out, head on the floor. I'm pretty sure he dislocated both hips, too, man. He looks ah, he's like a monkey. straight... More flexibility. <laughs> Straighten the Maki over there. We don't have that anymore. Hey, man, that's fucked up. I turned into Maki. Had a great career ahead of him in his hips. Like, I'm angry now. You made me angry. <laughs> oh, but yeah, moral of this whole story is, is even if you're going to the grocery store, dress in a way that is appropriate enough that people walk in there and they say, that guy fucks. <laughs> it's important because then you go in in sweatpants and they're like, oh, oh, call security and get this fucker out of here. Really? Because here I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy, he just had the sex. He's done now. He's all comfortable. He just forgot the toilet paper to clean up. That's She's still happened. lying on the bed, <laughs> waiting for the cleanup. Waiting for the cleanup, still on her tummy. <laughs> All right, then. You know what? I'm going to take that from now on. Every time I walk in and feel incredibly in- just, just walk with that extra place. swagger, like, that's yeah, correct. I did the fuck. That's right. <laughs> this guy got some. <laughs> <laughs> me, though, like, I get home from work. I take off, like, my button up, and then my friend calls me. Hey, man, you want to grab a drink? I mean, I'm still wearing my fucking dress pants and probably one shoe still on because I was about to take the second one off. <laughs> and then he calls me, like, yeah. Look around. Yeah, I don't have any alcohol. Okay, yeah, I'll join you. Grab the shirt. Grab the shirt, put it back on, put that other shoe on, and then I go out. And then I go to this bar, and everybody's like, the fuck is he dressed so nice for? I mean, I just got off work. Just got out of work, man. What do you do? I'm a banker. Oh, okay. Okay. (laughs) Does that not gain respect? No, I just they look at me differently. These are like manual labor workers that usually Uh. go to this bar, and I'm like, man, I wish I was part of your job, but like... Uh, I wasn't built for it, I guess. I don't know. Just oh. buy some boots and jeans, <laughs> tuck your t-shirt in, and make sure it's a very bright color and walk in. You'll fit right in. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, so, suit or no suit, have you ever been wearing your suit and just been extremely hotter than you should be, but you just refuse to take your fucking jacket off? Oh, yeah, of course. Why the fuck not? Why, why the fuck don't you just take it off? Uh, so if you're already sweating through your suit and you can feel that, like, is it an awkward when someone's wearing a two thousand dollars suute and then they take off? You have suit a two thousand dollars suit? What the fuck? Is... Doesn't I matter. Never believe in that thrift uh, store. You do. I don't. Um, I don't care what I look like. I, I I didn't even anticipate making this. Literally, my my coworker was trying to teach me how to fucking tie a tie today because I don't know how to tie a tie. Still, I still don't. I don't. I just That's cute. go with it. You know, Brian. You know, he ties the ties and they're all in my locker. Oh my god! Yeah, he's a very genuine person. Thank you, Brian. He won't ever listen to this, but uh, it's like he did listen to like one, maybe two, but he won't listen again. He, I think, he doesn't want to hear me talk more than he does at work, <laughs> <laughs> which is fair. Which is amazing because a lot of our, fa- our like fan base on this particular segment is people that you know and people that I know, and this is all shit they already hear. Um, he listened. I think he listened to one of these segments, and he was like. Yeah, like, but like, where the fuck are we going with this point? I'm like, oh, fuck you, dude. Like, we're still working on this shit. First of all, <laughs> we have no idea where whiskey man goes. <laughs> exactly. We just go until there's nothing left in the glass. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's true. So, so he's he ties my ties. So like today, like we're talking about like Windsor knots and shit. I'm like, okay, yeah, let me try this. So I'm like, I'm doing my collar. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna do this. I'm fucking it up. <laughs> Steve's fully naked here in studio, by the way. It's no, my collar is up. If that equals naked, then I don't know what the <laughs> fuck you've been with recently. <laughs> panties to the side. <laughs> Skirt up, panties to the side. <laughs> He's a romantic here, Whiskey Ramble. Oh. Um, so, like, I'm trying to do it. I can't do it. I just can't do it. Fucking tie. I can't tie a tie. I'm just fucking uncoordinated. I can't do it. I don't, I don't know. Where the fuck was I going with this? I don't know, but I'm going to teach you how to tie a tie. Okay. All right, sounds fair. Maybe that's where I was going with it. You were trying to ask Jane permission to, or not permission? No, advice <laughs> yeah. on how to tie a tie, sir. If it's okay with you, can you please teach me how to tie a tie? Yes, sir. Shane here, not a problem. Permission granted. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Oh no, 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 no! We're all doing it. No, no, no! It's me, Brian, and then the manager. We're all like tying ties together. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What <laughs> bonding like, experience is going on at your work? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we learned about how terrible our fathers were and everything. You know. It's great. Yeah. 
and <laughs> I'm trying to redo my collar. So we're all fucking tying our ties, and it's like, yeah, this is a fucking weird thing that's going on. Imagine like a customer walked by. Oh yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah, well, definitely yeah, the game. Whatever. <laughs> These guys are all getting dressed at the same time, looking slightly dissatisfied. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was very ex. I know my ex is one. Sorry, sorry. Emails, so, right? Emails from an hour ago. I just now noticed <laughs> sugar house you have now access to your yeah, account right i know let me know when i've won this fucking five dollar 12 team parlay <laughs> um, fuck i, I totally lost i hope it's not the one. second four o'clock game that kills you do you know how ridiculous that's gonna the be the bears to get, one to get 11 games right like the chiefs row. already soundly won and the chiefs Everybody else four won. or five game is good but and that then four it's, like, it's like the last four minutes is 13 to 13 and it's like oh my god oh fuck okay okay i got the bears and then mitch trubisky fumbles the ball like Bradley Chubb forces Von Miller picks it up. Fuck. Fuck. Now that it's going to happen. That's it. Speaking it into existence here. It was only $5. That's all you got to keep <laughs> saying. That's it. It's only $5. Only 5 bucks. All right. So you're sweating with a suit on. Right. Is, is that <laughs> what we started talking about? Yes. <laughs> Shit. Um, yeah. Skin so it's today. awkward. If you're wearing like a $2,000 suit and everyone's like, man, that guy looks good. Then you take that jacket off and you're like, oh my fuck. How much has he sweat? Has he lost all of the weight? In specifically sweat water? Like, what's going on right now? I had this embarrassing it's experience. I had this embarrassing experience where I had, like, the $2, like, deodorant. And, like, I'm wearing, like, a gray shirt and then a blue shirt. What is the cost of deodorant? Isn't deodorant deodorant? Listen, man, I, I'm grown up very cheap. The only thing I really spend on is whiskey and Ubers. But still, like, the only thing, like, I really, like, spend, like, exuberantly on, like, the, like, the finer stuff is whiskey. So... I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, two for four. Okay, yeah, I'll get this. It's like speed stick, you know. So okay. I, I use it, and then... But wouldn't I, you sweat the same? Using a different fucking product? I don't know, man. I, I My body's not right. Nor is mine. All right, we're going to try this. We're each going to buy a more <laughs> expensive deodorant. No, no, I've gone to Old Spice, and, you know, it's done better. Interesting. So, like, now, like... <laughs> like, now, like, I've, I've lifted up. <laughs> I was just seeing this pit stain. No, I've always just, like, my fucking pits have always just sweated, like unnaturally it's crazy bizarre yeah i always wore black at, at school and because i just felt really subconscious self-conscious subconscious subconsciously <laughs> self-conscious <laughs> but also outwardly <laughs> um so yeah i would always wear black i'm like oh, i see something weird in black he doesn't listen to the emo music i did towards the end but um so i'm wearing a gray shirt a gray undershirt with my blue button up and then like i'm like yeah, over there. And then I looked down, I'm like, oh shit, this is embarrassing. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, over there. And I just lower down, point up with my finger. And I'm like, God, this sucks. And then like my coworkers are like, yeah, man, like what, what gets more embarrassing than such and such? And I'm like, well, this. <laughs> and I just raise my arms like, imagine sweating through two shirts. All right. That's embarrassing when you're at work for eight, nine hours a day. So you're not alone. Man. And it was no matter what. Because at work, I go in, I turn the AC down, I turn like the thermostat can. down all the way down to sixty. What's your ideal temperature? Me? Yeah. I don't know, like sixty-eight, seventy. I want. I'm talking about work right now, like sixty-eight. I literally turned it down. Like today, it was like seventy, like three degrees or whatever it's outside. Absurd. And I turned down to sixty-eight because it just feels hotter inside. Mm-hmm. We don't have windows. It's just window fucking glass. You know, you can't open shit. So I'm like, oh yeah, 68. Everybody else is like, oh, it's cold in here. No. It's cold in here. And I'm like, okay, you can get up and turn it up. I'm not doing that. Never did. (laughs) So we, I was off for three days from the, from the branch. I was in training and then me and my coworker was doing it with me. We come back and, um, like our usual like HVAC people are in and we're like, why are they here? Like, this is bizarre. Like they haven't been here in months. Like everything works. So we ask our autistic, autistic, like retarded teller. Oh my god! And he's like, "We're like, did anybody like complain about the third thermostat?" Yeah. Like, okay, who did? Like, like, what was wrong with it? He's like, I did. It was hot. Okay. So did you turn it down? Nothing. Like, like, like doesn't say anything. Like, Chris, like, well, we weren't here. We're like genuinely asking, like, what. What was the complaint? I complained it was hot. Okay, what did you do about it? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Eventually, he's like, Chris, like we understand he's working on it. Like, what, 
what was the complaint and like what was done about it? He's like, it was hot. So what did you do about it? (laughs) Because all he had to do was get up and just turn it down on the thermostat. I turned the thermostat down. Okay, so what was the like the main complaint that may have caused this? Nothing. What the fuck? Chris, this conversation could have been ended two hours ago. We just said that right away. <laughs> it's like the fuck, man. I really enjoyed my three days all three days working away from you. Jesus. Yeah. An hour and a half. Hour and ten. Hour and ten. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I've retarded Teller, and he fucking pisses me off. He's not really a retarded. He's just probably on the spectrum. <laughs> he's a very nice guy. Extremely nice guy. I just have to make up for everything I was saying. And he's a very nice guy. And honestly, like, I was the nicest one to him the past two days at the branch, which is absurd because I fucking hate him. <laughs> this is the most bipolar, like, just, I don't know, <laughs> picture of a human I've ever heard. Who, me or him? You. Really nice guy. I fucking hate him. No. He's super nice, but he's an idiot. You've never met those kind of people, though? Of course I have. Exactly. So you understand what I'm saying? I don't sugarcoat it with the they're nice people. I'm saying you I need do. to up I'm... your IQ, you dummy. Listen, I'm a nice guy, but I'm also an asshole. It's true. Like, I'm the nicest asshole you'll ever meet. That's actually true. I've known Steve for 12-ish like, like, years now. Yeah, like 11, yeah. Yeah. Nicest human I've ever met. 100% asshole in his blood. Just how I was raised, in a way, inadvertently raised, I should say. I've seen some shit in my life. (laughs) And I've just grown to deal with it with whiskey. (laughs) Mainly alcohol. Mainly alcohol and just sarcasm, dick things to say. (laughs) Which is, you know, I gotta get through life. Like, how do you get through life? Not well. That dead air, that space, I was trying to sit here and think. <laughs> Someone pisses you off. Oh. But you know you need to, like, stay common ground. What do you do? I come home and beat the shit out of a heavy bag that hangs in my basement, which is not good because I live in a very poor home. If I hit it too hard, I'm convinced that at any point, and you'll appreciate it and like this, and you might start boxing in my home now, too, that the rafters and everything will just collapse, and this entire row of homes will just sink into mine on top of me in the basement whilst throwing hard punches, and I die. All right, so I'll kickbox. <laughs> there you go. Well, you might not want to. you got a jacked up knee. Yeah, and the left knee's going like it's, it's a struggle. But no, like, you know, if someone's pissing you off, you, know, you can't really, like, fully offend, you know? See... I do. I don't really have a filter. That's a problem. I do, which is good in a way. Yeah, I maybe I that's have what's gotten me so far in my job. My family enjoys that part about me. They're like, he's so, it's so refreshing. He's so funny that he talks the way that he talks. Nobody else in this family talks that way. Do you think that's how, how he always is? Spoiler alert, family who listens to this. Yes, this is how <laughs> I always am. I do not have a filter. Well, my mother. I told my mother I was doing a podcast. And she was like, oh, what's the name of it? I'm not telling you that. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> you already pissed off that I called you a cunt once. You don't want to hear it again on the podcast. <laughs> and that, and I'm like, and also, I know, oh, shit. I know my father would listen to it. And, you know, it just wouldn't go well for him. See, my dad listened to it, and he thought it was one of the funniest things he's ever heard. No, it's good, though. But I've literally... You like, didn't call him a cunt. <laughs> I didn't call him a cunt, and I didn't speak ill will towards him. It's true. Yeah. I, I think here. What, what you got something? No, I was just trying to take a look and see if we had anything that was written in on <laughs> monkey's shit. Oh yeah, probably not. We did not. All right. It's amazing for a, a segment that is our most listened to, like by a decent amount at this point. Yes, we we appreciate you all. Appreciate you all, but you know, maybe inter- and if you don't have a Twitter, just create one and just talk to us. That's all. Yeah, yeah, we'll interact. I'll interact. I typically. I will too typically interact to mentions i get until i'm too drunk and pass out it's true which usually the interactions happen when that's already happened all right yeah i'm not trying to i'm not trying to do the ad spot i can't do it right now no <laughs> all right all right uh, i don't uh, eh, yeah, eh. do we have anything else we got we got some food coming up for you uh, mercifully we do <laughs> delicious delicious food so Asian Rob, our guy, our main connect over there, just food, 215-794-FOOD, 215-794-3663. Treat yourself, 
take it home. He has prepared a little Italian for us tonight, right? So we have uh, some grilled chicken parm, which is something I have not tried before. Typically, I have not grilled chicken parm. Really? Um, Yeah, it's true. Usually, you know, fried off pieces of chicken, you know, and just get a little crisp to it. But oh, I'm excited this to one try was it. better. So, and this that's why this one is going to be better. Uh, but yeah, so he has prepared us a little bit of an Italian dish tonight. So, one thing that we're going to start trying to do on Whiskey Ramble is we are going to have Asian Rob bring us food, or we'll go pick it up prior to the segment. We are going to eat and talk about at some point what that meal is. And tonight, that meal is, a, as I mentioned, grilled chicken parm. We want Italian. We appreciate it here. You guys should do the same damn thing, except you shouldn't have a podcast talking about it, because if you're more entertaining than us, we will hate you, and so will the rest of our listeners. It is just food, 215-794-FOOD, 215-794-3663. Treat yourself. Take it home. Visit our guy, Asian Rob. Say Shane or Steve from Whiskey Ramble sent you. Very solid there. And also, we're getting that Sunday. Yes, we are getting that Sunday. Because I will be here. At the very latest, second half of the Chiefs game. There you go. Yeah. So we should order it. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. All right. People coming for uh, the Sunday night game, I assume? I have no idea. I keep forgetting to invite people at this point. Like How certain people. Like How Ian shows up all How the time. You? What's that? Ian shows up all the time. Oh, that's going to be fun. We should record this. Me talking to Ian. He'll get in on it. Oh, yeah. All right. We got, well, maybe we'll have a guest next week. No, no, no. I meant like just record me talking to Ian. I just record that. And yeah. Just, <laughs> I'll, I'll put it into the segment somewhere. Bonus yes. content. <laughs> yeah. Add it to the Instagram, YouTube, what, what have you. I'm in. Get more, get more out there for that. Um, any, uh, you know, thoughts that are final? Um, we got over the thousand mark on Twitter and then we lost it again. So we obviously offended someone. So make sure. No, it was those damn porn porn bots. Yeah, yeah. that's a damn shame. Um, <laughs> well, if you know other porn bots, <laughs> I mean, send them our way. The most realistic ones, please. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, All Rob we, will fall for it. It's true. I think most of the people on our podcast will fall for it. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, definitely give the podcast a follow. It's at AMY Podcast. You can also what the hell do we have else? I guess we do have a Facebook page. I don't think we use it. That's fucked up. Um, but definitely the Instagram page is going to start getting used, and as will our YouTube, which I think is probably going to wear, end up being where our betting uh, Sunday morning shows are going to be uh, it streamed. Be. I would recommend using Instagram or no, YouTube. <laughs> using YouTube over Instagram. Yeah, I think we're going to do it through YouTube. So uh, search the Always Next Year podcast and then subscribe to our channel there. You can also get uh, all of our uh, audio <coughs> feeds for these shows on YouTube as well. Um, seldom can? used over there. You can, yeah. Seldom used, but uh, but yeah, give that a shot. And then hopefully each Sunday morning, we will help you make the correct bets, not a 12-team parlay for $5. Uh, Do it. It's just $5. It's just $5. It's just $5. It wins 1500 1500 not 15 grand, as I mistakenly heard earlier. <laughs> and I almost mistakenly said... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, just give us a follow on, follow on each of our platforms here. What do you got for final thoughts? Why you gotta ask me if I have a gambling problem every time I'm logged out in Sugar House? Like, I don't yet. I don't have the gaming problem yet. Yet. I just placed a 12 team parlay for $5, alright? Yeah, but that's more sarcasm than anything. That's not even a problem. It's yeah. just $5. It's just $5. <laughs> it's literally just $5. I like, think I'm that's not, the title I'm, of this podcast. <laughs> it's just $5. <laughs> 12 team parlay it's just five dollars <laughs> literally that is the title that is um that was really your final thought because i was trying to think like anything else you just want to like go on like quick rant about uh i don't have any other quick rants but you are now effectively that is eight fingers eight fingers down yeah eight fingers down on whiskey for this episode of whiskey ramble uh as he downs it and he i can't wait for you to listen to that yeah, yeah. through the, through the <laughs> glass that's gonna be hard yeah um, rest in peace, monkey. Oh yeah, we lost our producer tonight. He's, I always uh, don't drink people. I want to hear him talk though. All right, we'll we'll, we'll get him to talk next week. <laughs> As now he's shaking cost. <laughs> As <laughs> As like, a- shaking baby syndrome, except shaking <laughs> ape syndrome. <laughs> like, Jesus, <laughs> my God, this poor guy's gonna vomit everywhere. Yeah, yeah, he probably will. Well, um, I appreciate you, monkey, for <laughs> trying to hang with me while drinking. We do appreciate it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he has almost fallen off the table, and I have saved his life. All right, you should also one hundred percent write in, write in a review, and let us know if you think that you would benefit 
from seeing this particular segment videotaped. <laughs> he looks so calm and chill now. He's like, no, no I'm good now. No, 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 no. He's got both hands over the head. It's like, my head hurts. <laughs> what <laughs> happened? Funny, but he looks He's just like recuperating. Relaxing. He's just recuperating. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to see Monkey and the ridiculous shit that he does throughout the segment or Steve effectively do downing, what, a quarter of a bottle of whiskey each time that he is here, maybe more sometimes. Basically, yeah. Uh, it's absurd. Um, but if you guys think that you would benefit from that being more so of a YouTube presence as well, we will set up the camera and live stream that as well. Uh, yeah. We will face our fear of being in front of a camera because we are not the most attractive humans. Yeah, this is 100% true. But we'll do it for you. Yeah. If you write in and if you also write in that you love the show and that you get more involved in the show, we will release the pod that was never yet heard. The one where Steve, the overly drunk one, corrects was the completely <laughs> not drunk sober version of me <laughs> meanwhile i was very very drunk that was the drunkest you've ever got on this show and, and you were sharper than me <laughs> it was absurd so if you want to hear that absurdity because i'm a fucking means, professional at what you are i do a fucking professional drunk podcasting apparently <laughs> it's true well there you go that is why we are the most listened to here why you are the most listened to here at AMYP. <laughs> that's all i got for us tonight all right well that and yes i will follow through with that i post things people follow me just respond please i ask for it I'm begging on my knees, please. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm set. on my knees. <laughs> brody, brody, please. Kill me. Thank you, Shane. You actually 100% or so what I was going in. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> okay. We get five responses to me tweeting out, and Shane will sing that. The, in its entirety. In its entirety on YouTube. And we'll oh, post well, it on We need to put it on YouTube. Yeah, we do. All right, maybe we'll put it on YouTube. We do. We'll get us out there. You with that alone. don't know what <laughs> you knew to me. <laughs> oh, all right. Please do it. I'm not going to be counting it because I would absolutely be like, yes. Like, I will create five different things. Be like, 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 like. Because I want to see it now. I 100% want to see it now. All right. Well, I will 100% do it if we get five likes to whatever the hell Steve posts. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll add it into the hashtag Whiskey Ramble. And then um, right after, be like, this contributes to Shane. Sure ass. Singing. <laughs> Somebody kill me, please. All right, but that is it for <laughs> Whiskey Ramble. Uh, appreciates you all listening. Um, I am Steve. That's what we appreciate about That's you. That's what we appreciate about you. <laughs> Not the lack of communication we get. No, you can all eat a bag of dicks for that. <laughs> hey, man, it's fucked up. See? Filter issues. I apologize. I'm sure you guys are great. <laughs> nah, you're all great. Love you all. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us. Continue to listen. Just please... Yeah, interact with us a little bit more. We would appreciate it. It would probably enhance the show for us, for you. Yeah, for the, fill the content. For Monkey, who's dead. Yeah, ask us questions. Ask Monkey questions. He yeah. has an Instagram, not an Instagram. What's the other one? Twitter now. Yeah. AMYP underscore Monkey. He's a badass ape chimp guy. What is he? I, I, don't, I don't know. know he's he naked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's just he's, always naked. He's Very got weird. a fucking asshole belly button. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all right. That is it for, for me and Shane here on Whiskey Ramble for the Always Next Year podcast. And uh, we will see you next time. A fighting man I used to be, revered and feared through Killarney. Now I'm back to hitching with the wind. But if Mickey Flynn should ever fight me, I'll throw me call shit all behind me and square off on that son of a bitch again. He cracked open a rib or two, he beat me Sunday through and through. And so she over my unconscious frame. Dumb and lame.